Hi, I'm Ed Sperling. I'm the Editorial Director of Semiconductor Manufacturing and Design. I'm here with Kevin Cranin from Synopsys, Xiao Lim from Cadence, Tom Kwan from TSMC, and Michael Buer garcia from Mentor Graphics. Kevin, when you look out at the um, ecosystem these days, what do you see as the biggest challenges? I think two of the biggest challenges, let's start with two. Um, number one is getting started earlier in the cycle and working when the bits, when the PDKs, when the technology is very raw. It's crucial because the process requirements are such that you have to start earlier if you want to get done by the time the customers want it. The second challenge, the second great challenge, is that it's, it's, it's all new material. And, and right now we're talking about new devices, FinFETs, which require a whole new look at uh, the, the, the actual devices that you're working with. So you have to worry about new SPICE models, you have to worry about many of the new aspects or some of the aspects of the process that they just never had to deal with before. Has there been this much change in the past for the entire ecosystem all at once? I, you know, I've seen an interesting chart from somebody, and I can't think who it was, but it kind of shows these two stable lines talking about metal with a few perturbations here and there, and then also a little static line for the type of devices that we had planar, but with, you know, small changes, maybe a little high K metal gate thrown in. But uh, all of a sudden, you look at, at 14 nanometer and things become very disrupted. You see new devices and then you'll see even newer devices if you look forward into 10 as far as most people's roadmaps are concerned. So I think we're at a point of, of greater and greater, um, you know, greater and greater change uh, in both the devices and on the metal side as we go forward. Lim, when you look at the ecosystem, what, what are the big challenges for you? I see the biggest challenge is having innovation keeping pace with the requirements, um, the time to market requirements of the entire solutions, right? So and when I, what I mean by solutions is we need to start looking at the Facebook, the social networking, the big data, data center, the infrastructure, and all the consumer devices out there, internet of things, all of these end applications, they're evolving so fast. And the solutions that the SOC customers that we have in this ecosystem that they need to put in place as a solutions for those application, they need to, they have very, they have very, um, well, they really need to keep pace with the time to market requirements. And as a result, this ecosystem here needs to innovate extremely fast in order to keep pace with it. And the second um, challenge that I see really is keeping up with managing the scalability and the efficiency of coming up with a solution in the most cost-effective way. How are we doing on that, that score? Are we actually keeping up or are we uh, falling behind? Is it moving so fast and is it getting so difficult and so complex that we can't do it or are we still able to keep, keep pace with it? I think the ecosystem is doing very well in keeping pace with it and especially with starting early in the process. We are starting as early as PDK 0.01 now in making sure that the solutions and the IP, especially for us, is well verified, well designed, well characterized before the real solutions needs to go to market. Michael, from your perspective, what is the biggest challenge to the ecosystem now and going forward? Well, I think we've come a long way on the ecosystems. We, you know, we could almost talk that this is ecosystem 3.0 based on what all the EDA partners, IP, packaging and test, and everyone has kind of worked together. The biggest challenge is getting everything done properly in time for a new consumer market. One of the things we talked about with the rest of the people on your, your round table was the fact that everything's consumerized. Everything has to be ready by Christmas with the latest new process note and getting that all pulled together when we are individual companies that have to work together, competition and cooperate uh, is a challenge, but we'll get there, we always have. I think going forward it'll be more of that and the investment that we have to do uh, on the different ecosystems that are around the world uh, to make this happen, that'll be a challenge. I think we'll get through it like we always have, but it'll require different ways of collaborating than we have historically. 
There's more skin in the game, though, too, right, as you go forward? It's a bigger investment both in terms of time and money and also commitment to be able to share things across the ecosystem. Right. And uh, we've become, you know, as much as we've said in the EDA world, we want to be like our, com our, our com customers. We have. Right? If you look at our customers, one person wins the large market share or one or two people get it. I think we're there as, as far as different product lines. So yeah, it is, it is more investment, more work, but the payback if you win is better. Tom, you're sort of at the center of the ecosystem in many ways um, with being a, a, one of the largest foundries on the planet, if not the largest mm -hmm. foundry. Um, what are you seeing as the challenges for the ecosystem? I think the um, uh, challenge is, as you know, as moving down to the events node, like FinFET and beyond, is to be able to address, uh, identify the issue and the challenges of the de design flows and the design uh, methodology earlier, and be able to work with um, our ecosystem partner to come up with solution and uh, validate the solutions so that we have all of them come together by the time the process is ready to go into production. So that's always the fundamental challenge and fundamental um, focus of uh, what we call open innovation platform, where we bring all the ecosystem partners together to work on the next generation uh, of problems in, in the most advanced nodes. You've been working. You've been working on an ecosystem now that basis for almost since your inception. Is it getting more difficult and more challenging to manage that ecosystem and keep it moving forward at the same pace because it is so complex, or is it now suddenly everybody has more uh, stake in it because it's just it is more it is tougher and it is uh, uh, a bigger investment on everybody's side? I think that in the beginning, it, uh, the the we working starting about twelve years ago in the official way, uh, starting with Reference Flow one point oh. And, and certainly the name Open Innovation Platform just started only five years ago where I officially named it. I think uh, at the early days, we actually focused on very simple, um, basic physics problem down to the transistor level. So you just worry about the SPICE models and how to correlate those. But as the designer do more and more uh, complex design, we need to address higher um, design uh, issues such as, you know, all the technology files and then the PDKs, standard cells, and eventually we work on the, the flows, which is uh, the, try to get the customer from RTL to GDS. So that's where I think the challenge is going forward is be able to uh, how to bring enough ecosystem partner with the right resources come together early and lay out a roadmap how to address all the issue that can bring the customer from one point to another. So that, that's where, where we, we need to continue to be able to do a better job there.